Alongside Dustin Norman, Pirates men's head soccer coach, I'm Kid McConico. Coach, first and foremost, congratulations. Pirates, for the first time ever, headed to the postseason, the NCAA tournament. Yeah, thank you. you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity that the guys worked for all year, and we were fortunate on, uh, on selection day that they called our name. Well, congratulations to you. Your first year here at Southwestern, and what a difference you've made. This program, I mean, six one improvement from a year ago. And I know it's you're still going. You, I know you're not looking back yet, but what stood out to you in your first year in charge? I mean, I think ultimately it, it's not a, it's not necessarily a reflection on me as an individual or a coach. It's a reflection on the buy-in of the the players. Uh, you know, from from day one they they bought into what we were trying to do. You know, we came in as a group um, and we ended the regular season as a team. And I think anytime you do that and you see that type of growth. Uh, as a as a collective um, group, you, you give yourself a chance to compete for championships. Well, you're going to have that opportunity heading down to Trinity University this weekend, 7:30 p.m. Saturday. You'll be taking on UMHB, a very good UMHB team, ranked third in the West Region. Yeah, no, we we, we actually played UMHB in preseason, um, had a positive result against them. Uh, to be fair, it's it's a preseason exhibition, so. There's, you're, you're playing players in different positions and trying things out, and as we were as well. Uh, so it's, it's somewhat a familiar foe. A lot of the players know each other. So it's a team that over the next couple of years I'm sure we'll have a rivalry with uh, just based on location. But looking forward to getting back out on the field to make a run at things. Well, and if you get a victory there, you may have an opportunity to see a familiar foe yet again. At Trinity, they'll be taking on Chapman College from Orange County if they get a win well you may see the Tigers again come Sunday night no it would be it would be a welcomed opportunity uh, a welcomed opportunity to, to, to repeat a fixture in uh, in a week's time I, I know you have to be pleased with the way your men played this weekend and getting victories over Austin College victories over Colorado College then ultimately falling in penalty kicks to Trinity a match that was back and forth all the goals came via this spot they had a penalty in the first half. You had one at the end of the second half to send it on to overtime. Ultimately, they came away with a 4-2 victory in penalty kicks. Look, looking at that match, does anything stand out to you? Uh, I mean, the one thing that stands out to me is third game in three days, surviving you know two games previous and just the amount of energy and effort that our guys put in to competing for a championship on that day was, was pretty outstanding. And like I said, I look forward to playing on a weekend where everyone's on even footing, where you know if someone's not rested a little bit longer than another opponent and you eliminate some of the excuses and things like that, and it's just an even playing field and we get to make a run at it. What a year it's been for Pirates men's soccer. The best thing is it's not over yet. Pirates fans make the trip down to the Alamo City, 7.30 p.m. Saturday, Trinity University. Pirates taking on UMHB. Coach, we look forward to speaking with you next week. I look forward to it as well. Good luck. All right, thank you.